tucks. For a tuck, we want to stop with our hands on the floor. We don't want to have any thoracic collapse. We want to stay nice and open, chest is proud, and neutral spine, and our feet elevated off the floor. Keep the straight line from the head to the tailbone, so don't lock side to side. Do not lean with your chin either. The best way of doing that is to find a spot on the wall about halfway up or where the wall and the ceiling join, or a, a vantage point, a tree or something like that, and just stare at that spot. So you're going to put your hands on the floor, you're going to lift them up, slide over the elbows like a neutral spine. You bring the knees in and you extend out. As you extend out, you'll find those abdominals will engage and then you just bring the knee in and out. So this is called a tuck or also a knee. Quite often you'll feel the work in the hip flexors at the same time. To progress the tuck, we add what we call a knee wrap. So our hands go over the top of the knee and as we pull the knee into the chest, we lift up. From this position, we can extend out and bring it in. Try to keep it neutral pelvis. A tuck can then be taken a little bit further by laying the lumbar spine on the floor. When you lay the lumbar spine on the floor, you momentarily give it stabilization, but then you have to pull through the hips to get up and lift up to the top position. Start with the first version. Progress if you can, but as you're going to be really out of breath after those jump burpees, those traveling burpees, go with the one you can do the best form on. We're looking to maintain 10 minutes of constant work if we can, even if inside in our heads there's a lot of stress going on. There's a lot of signals of stop, slow down, it might happen. If that's the case, try and calm down on the tucks, focus on the fall. 